All right, earlier this morning, 2024 Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy sat down with an interview with fake news CNN's Don Lemon. Don't worry, nobody was watching, so we'll show the world what happened. And the two sparred over a number of topics, including the Second Amendment. Needless to say, Don Lemon did not maintain his composure. He has issues with impulse control. Take a look. To say that black people today, compared to 1964, 1865, haven't made progress in part because of the freedoms we secured. And the Second Amendment was black part of the whole Hang on, please. Freedom. I cannot keep a thought if you guys are talking to me in my ear. So uh, hang on one second. So to say that, that black people, say, say what you said again. Black it's man. insulting that but you're sitting here. regarding you as a fellow citizen. That you're That's sitting what I think here, whatever ethnicity you are, explaining to me. Whatever ethnicity I'm, I'm what it's like to be black Whatever America. ethnicity I'm, I'm I'll tell you what I am. I'm an Indian American. I'm proud of it. But I think we should have this debate. Black, white, doesn't matter. I think we should have this on debate. The content should, of should, the if ideas. If you do it, you should do it in an honest way. All right, here with reaction is 2024 GOP presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy. Yeah. Sir, how are you? Good job. How are you? All right. So I, you did such good work. Nobody watched that. I wanted other people to actually see that go down. I, I think Don is uh, clearly past his prime. I think so. Uh, but, but the reality is, it, it was actually kind of fun. I'm going to admit that. But I think that beyond just the fun aspect of defeating Don Lamone in a debate, I think the more important part of this is we have this culture in our country Lamone? that says... Well, I can't, uh, Don, uh, I'm you sure know, it was Don a Lemon, slip of the tongue. You know. Yeah, sure. So, so I, I think it was. I think it's really a sad state of affairs where people feel like they can't speak their minds freely because of the color of their skin. What Don Lemon told me was that I couldn't say something because I was black. I reject that. We need to speak truth, no matter our skin color. And I think that you know what? When we learn about our history, we're all a little bit better off. The Second Amendment was crucial to securing civil rights in this country. And that's what I taught him today. And I hope more Americans can learn it regardless of the color of their skin. My, my belief in God, my faith teaches us that we were all created by the same God. We all have the same father yeah. and we have a choice between good and evil in our lives. And you make choices every day. Uh, and and that would be the brotherhood of Christianity that I believe in. Uh, I thought it was a powerful point. But fake news CNN is out there telling the world that they are fair, balanced and objective. And, and he claims to be a journalist. <laughs> Does he sound like a journalist to you? He sounds like a talk show host to me. Well, look, I think that journalism has gone down the tubes in the mainstream media, but that's a big part of why, Sean, I'm making it a point in this presidential campaign to go to the other side's turf and to win. I travel college campuses across this country, and I'm actually hopeful, Sean. Forget the media hosts on mainstream media. When I look at the next generation of Americans, many of them think they adopt these woke policies. But when I talk to them across the country, what I see is they're hungry for purpose and meaning and identity. And we in the conservative movement, the pro-America movement, can give that to them. Right, they flock ask you this. to TV hosts. But so, I actually have hope for the country. Everybody knew Donald Trump before he ran for president. Not many people knew you. What makes you think you can beat the top names in the Republican Party and grab that nomination? Well, Sean, we were starting at 0.0%. Now we're point, polling at about 3% nationally, about exactly where Donald Trump was when he came down that escalator. I but do think everybody the Republican knew Party Donald needs Trump. to be... Nobody, I, I did not know you that's ahead, exactly that, true. well ahead. I have heard of you, but yeah, I didn't you, I know you well. You. So you really think well, you're, I, you're in this to win you. this nomination. I want to be clear about yes. that. Yes. I am in this to win this nomination, to take the America First agenda to the next level. I've got fresh legs. I'm the first millennial Republican ever to run. And I want to reach that next generation, Sean, and I think we can do it. Listen, the points you're making, I agree with many of them. We wish you luck. Great job this morning. Appreciate you being with us. All right.